Hi guys, this is Mohammed and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be setting up a primary DNS server uh, as a part of uh, as a series of my DNS deployments. I will be deploying up slave cache and root later on. So today I'm deploying primary server. Um, I have SSH into my virtual machine and I'm just checking if it has internet access. So make sure you have internet access before you do it because you will need to install some packages and also make sure you have root access to install them as well so installing bind bind utils bind chroot these packages give us the DNS service Let's install it so once ins it's installed I'm just gonna um, configure the main named file called name.confin.etc this is where you like uh, say what uh, what is your domain and what type of server you're setting and everything so change this to your IP address here the IP address of the machine so I have 192.168.12.2 so you change it to whatever IP you have um, come down um this is for caching i would remove it as a good security practice and then i've already wrote this down so i'm just going to copy paste it here this is um the actual zone declare statements as you can say um where is it? No. Something went wrong here. Yep. Right. So this is my zone msm.net. If you have a different zone, you name it differently. Type master specifies that it's a primary zone. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a primary server, this one. File is uh, where your DNS, like database sort of, of records, right? So what file name that holds your um, DNS database and this is the reverse zone declarant so this one maps the domain to IP address and this one maps IP address to domain since my IP is 192.168.12.2 I reversed it not the complete one the, the first three octets so 12.168.192 so you you go backwards and then you add dot in dash addr arpa this is the syntax and then I say master for this is the because this is the primary uh, server for this reverse lookup zone and then I should say here msm.net.rev.db definitely it has to be different than this one right so this would have the database for forward lookup zone and this will this is the database for reverse lookup zone we will be creating these files in the var in in root var named the 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 primary server file and the sorry the forward lookup file and the reverse lookup file. So var named. This is where you you will create the database files and you can put records. What kind of DNS uh, records do you you want to put in there? So I'm gonna say why msm dot net dot db right it's created I already have created this so I'm just gonna copy paste it here right so you wanna change this to whatever you wanna name it to I'm naming this server NS because this is my primary name server and this is the host name you can change these things these are the records so ns.msm.net is going to match to this IP address ns.slave uh, sorry slave.msm.net is going to match to this IP address so you don't have to type the whole FQD in here you can just say slave and then you have to type the whole IP address and that's pretty much it for the forward lookup zone database now I'm going to create the database for reverse lookup zone msm.rev.db 
right similarly there isn't much change it's just that instead of a records you'll have pdr records in the reverse reverse lookup zone data file um yeah so this two indicates the last octet right so one nine two one six eight dot twelve and then two would match to ns dot msm dot net 12.3 would match to slave.msm.net. Here you need an FQDN, but you don't need the full IP address. Once this is set up, uh, I'm gonna. S I think I should be good to start the named service. So name daemon. So service named start failed. Uh, what did you do? What did master file file not found? Said not red dot db dot. I think there's something that I misconfigured here. Yeah, see, it is looking for a file ms dot msm dot net dot rev dot db dot that's why it didn't start properly now it should be good yep so service is starting named and it said okay a good practice is to check the logs if it's if it gave any error um, while starting it right I don't see any DNS related errors yeah that's, that's something else IPv6 related anyway so that's there so now our DNS service started um, I'm gonna change this to say that resolve DNS queries locally through the DNS server that I just deployed and the the domain right so search msm.net that's the domain that I had that I, de that I declared then I would say name server the IP address of this machine since I'm resolving queries locally right now I'm gonna go ahead and check if um, the primary server is functioning properly NS lookup is a utility that you can use right so now I can say okay I, I need the IP address for msm.net right and if you configured it properly it should give you whatever IP you set up in the database for forward lookup zone now if you want to check the name um, as in the, the FQDN of a, a particular IP address you type down this IP address right and it will give you ns.msm.net here right similarly if I say a, a dip different record it should give me slave I believe right slave.msm.net here you can also type just ns and it will give you um, the IP address as well ns slave since you're in the domain so that pretty much sums up the primary DNS server stay tuned if you want um, to deploy the slave server as well as I will be doing it very soon I don't know how soon but probably in 3-4 days whenever I get time Okay, thank you for watching the video and have a very nice day. Bye.